Holy sh that's a big fish. Oh, this is this is a freaking hog right here. Guys, she has got a monster. What's up guys? Today's video is sponsored by Catch Co. So I got these Catch Co baits out of Shop Carl's. I also got 30% off because I have Carl's Club. But in this video, we went fishing in a farm pond that's a pay lake and the fish were really, really tough to get a bite. So I went through all my tackle and it turns out this is what they wanted. But I hope you guys enjoy the video. So this place is up near Tifton, Georgia and it's a beautiful farmland you guys can see. They got a bunch of different ponds out here. Strawberry shed right there. Yeah, see, we got some ducks over here. Some geeses. Is it geese or goose? Well, it's two goose. Geeses? Or is it gooses? Or is it just goose? Look at all the goose. Look at all the geese. I got Laura with me, as you guys can see. And uh, we just gotta put the money in the box, pay the stuff, and then go in here and catch some toads. Let's go, boys. Guys, these ducks are happy to see us. Hey, ducky duck. <laughs> Guys, look at this snake right here. That ain't a rattlesnake. It's like some kind of indigo snake. Guys, if you know what kind of snake that is, comment down below. He's big, whatever he is. The boat ramp was hell. So there's a bunch of pythons. You see all that stuff is just like floating, matted stuff. It's gonna be very interesting getting the boat out. That's a bite right there. Got him. Got him. Finally, we caught one. Went on the board. He is tiny. Look how small he is, guys. Tiny little fish. All right, we'll throw it back, of course. Looking pretty good right in here. Is that a fish? I think I hit that. Yeah, that's a fish. I had a bite though with a little yum dinger thingy bobber here. I think I got these from Catch Co. What you got on there? Throw up there at that bank. See how I threw right up there at the bank like that? Try to get real close to the bank. So let it, see how my line's sinking? Let it fall all the way down. And then once it falls down, pull up on it and you'll feel grass on there. And then you feel it and you pull on it. And once you pull on a little bit, you'll feel the grass. See how the grass is coming with it? See how the grass is coming with it? You'll feel that it's grass. And once you realize it's actually grass, you can just give it like a little pop like that. And a lot of times it'll pop that grass off of there. Sometimes it won't always, but. That's a squirrel, that's a rabbit. Look, you see the rabbit right there? You see her? You see how I'm doing right now? Look, I pulled it up and it's tight and I can, I'm, feel them on something and it was grass so I pulled a little bit more and it come off but a lot of times I get the bite right after I do that but I think oh I just had a bite too is he on there yeah he's on there he must have been small I feel there's weight pressure on the end of it and I kept pulling it and pulled out of it now I'm just letting it sink and a lot of times right after you pull it out of it and let it sink you'll feel them tick it. And it's something about you pulling out of that grass will trigger them and they'll bite. Ooh, that's a bite right there. Is he on there? Yeah, he's on there. I'm gonna let him take it this time since I keep missing him. I'm just gonna let him run with it for a minute. Got the hook in him that time. Oh, this is, this is a freaking hog right here. This is a big one. Holy cow, this is a big fish. Oh, oh, it is a big one. It's like a four pounder. Oh, it got off in the boat. No. Guys, I just had a four pounder get off right at the boat. I was trying to boat flip it and it got off. I mean, I would have had to let him go anyway, but I think I figured something out, guys. So we've been here for like three hours now. I finally tried something a little bit different. This is a 2 aught hook and I've got these little Catch Co Pro Series. These are just like little stick baits. And I dyed the tip of the tail chartreuse. 
just a little bit of it and we found a spot that looks really good on the fish finder it's like nine ten foot deep there's a different looking stuff on the bottom it, it looks really good to me on the fish finder it looks like the plants are holding oxygen and what i'm doing i'm throwing this bait out i'm just letting it sink all the way to the bottom really slow and it'll get caught in the grass and i'll pull it out of the grass really really slow and then let it fall again and that's whenever i'm getting the bite on the fall i think oh that's a bite that's a fish got him got him got him Hello? Well, you called me and I caught a fish, so you're good luck, I reckon. <laughs> I'll hurt you later. Nah, he's like a pound. Give me that bait. I'm gonna put your worm on here. We catch fish. Catch a fish, felt a fish. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Give me that. Well, I think that's where I threw that fish food out, ain't it? Back yonder. Back yonder way? Yeah. The fish should be biting. Woo, did you see that? That's a fish right there. Got him. It's a big one. Is it a toad? It's a good one. It's a good one. Come on up here, bass. This makes bass number three. Boom. Yeah, he did. Give me my hook back. He wanted it. I told you the anus spray. That's what they want. Guys, I want to fish over there. I won't catch him. That's a fish. Ah, oh, I missed him. I missed him. I had another one, guys. The bite's turning on. The storm's coming. I don't want to leave. Pick that pole up and throw it where you catch a fish. I only had like four bites in 10 minutes. They are biting right now. Throw back there that pocket where I keep throwing at. Right, throw right back there. I keep seeing a fish swirl back there. And I didn't miss. I didn't have two bites back there. You see that? Yeah, right in there. You got a fish? Holy shit, that's a big fish. Take it easy with him. Hold your rod tip down to the right. Hold your rod tip down to the right. Guys, she has got a monster. Make sure your drag set. Ooh. Holy shit. He's going, he's in the motor. Come come around this side. Why don't you come over here and get me out of the pads? Guys, that was like a eight pounder probably. Eight pound, she's got an eight pound line on here. So there wasn't a whole lot she could do with it. I don't know, that storm looks like it's coming that way. Oh, that's probably that big old swirl out. Woo you see that? I, I kept seeing a big swirl out there in the middle. I thought it was a turtle, but that, that you hooked that wasn't no damn turtle. You seen that right there? I think he grabbed it. Oh, he grabbed it. I should let him take it longer. They're biting it real funny. The big ones, you gotta let them take a long time. It's weird. Ooh. Ooh, that's a bite. Oh, this is a toad right here. This is a big one. I'm gonna need you to get in the net, I think. Guys, I've got 12 pound line on here and a two watt hook. Oh, that's a big one. It's a toad. It's a toad. He's trying to go on the pads. Lord, got him in the net. Look at that. Good job. Check him out, boys. He's not as big as I thought. He's probably about two and a half pounds. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and let, let the bass go. You gotta let go all fish in here. He's off. Yeah, I feel it. That's probably what's turning this bite on fire right now. They definitely won't bite like this all day. You see that cloud right there? It's got all kind of lightning in it and um, it's getting closer and closer. But we're about to get out of here. Yeah, that's getting a little bit too close for my comfort. Ooh, that's a bite. Oh, I think he let go. This is going to be fun, guys. Oh, 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 oh. See if I can make a jump. 
Ooh. Hopefully there's no snakes. <laughs> Guys, how great is this? We come back and there's a watermelon on our truck. 